and happy spring spring officially started on march 20th at 6 29 in the morning kicked off by the spring equinox that's when the sun's rays were straight right over the equator providing in the same amount of daylight and nighttime for most regions of the world now if you're a lover of the longer days or the more daylight in your days this is your season because we will continue to gain anywhere between a minute to two minutes of daylight every single day at least until june 21st the summer solstice why because earth will continue to tilt another 23.5 degrees bringing us to summertime in the northern hemisphere it's this tilt right here that causes all the different seasons in our planet and with different seasons you know what that means different weather let's talk about the jet stream for a minute what's a jet stream irene well the jet stream are those narrow channels of very strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere traveling above 250 miles per hour and it keeps all the cold air pretty much all together all bottled up now in the fall and in the winter the jet stream tends to be focused at a lower latitude bringing us uh, those cold spells which we hardly saw of this last winter across uh, most of the united states now in the spring and in the summer the jet stream retracts to the north keeping all the cold air bottled up in the north pole but also opening up those uh, warmth gates that will bring all that tropical humidity across higher latitudes that's why we are in the subtropical region as well and remember the opposite is true for the southern hemisphere i am digital meteorologist irene sands